Hey guys, it's Mia. Welcome to my channel. As you guys know, I've been very open about my mental health struggles. When I was little, I was diagnosed with anxiety, depression, and OCD. And then about a year ago, I was diagnosed with anorexia, so I have my fair share of mental health problems. But the day I decided to turn to God and put all of my trust on Him and stop relying on myself to fix things, I had a revelation from the Holy Spirit. And I'm going to show you how you too can overcome your mental illness through Christ. I ask all of you to please stick around for the end of this video because who knows, just one of these verses that I'm going to share with you may change your life like it did mine. The first step in overcoming your mental health struggles or whatever it is you're going through is to openly admit that you need God and you need him to save you. Our absolute best isn't even near God's worst. None of us deserve to go to heaven. And because we are all sinners, we can't even be in the presence of him because of his perfect holiness. But God, he wants to be with us. He loves us so much. He sent his only son down here in this messed up and cruel world to die for our sins so we can be saved. And once you fully believe in your heart that God is there for you and that God wants the best for you, that is when he will save you. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not unto your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. We just need to trust in God that he has our best interest at heart and he will never fail us. Whenever you have a problem in your life, the first thing in your mind should be to go to God and ask for his help. And if you have the mindset where, oh, I need to come make myself a better person before I can turn to God, just know that that is the devil telling you that because God wants you to turn to him and rely on him to help build you up. He wants you to trust in him that no matter what happens in life, God is doing what is best for you, even if it may not seem like it. Reading scripture is so important in growing your relationship with God and Christ and the Holy Spirit. So I urge all of you to go do it. Do not be anxious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will be anxious for itself. God doesn't want us worrying about what's gonna happen tomorrow. He wants us to live and enjoy today. So when you're worrying about tomorrow, you're completely wasting the gift that God has given us of today, the present moment. And which of you by being anxious can add a single hour to his lifespan? How many times do you worry about something that you literally can't change? All the time, we do that as humans all the time. And all we're doing is wasting our time away. Worry doesn't add any benefit in your life whatsoever. Worry will never make your life better in any way. So stop worrying and trust in God. Therefore I tell you, do not be anxious about your life what you will eat, what you will drink, nor about your body or what you put on it. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds in the air. They neither soar nor reap nor gather into barns and yet your heavenly father feeds them. Are you not more valuable than they? The birds and the wild animals don't worry about where they're gonna sleep, what they're gonna eat, but God provides for them. So if God provides for the birds, why do we doubt that he'll provide for us? All of our worries tend to be about worldly, materialistic things that only matter in this life and that won't matter in the kingdom of heaven. Our life here on earth is only a blink of an eye compared to eternity. The world is passing away along with its desires, but whoever does the will of God abides forever. No what eye has seen, nor ear heard, nor the heart of man imagined what God has prepared for those who believe him. We can't even comprehend what God has prepared for us. No amount of new iPhones, cars, money, houses can even compare to what God has in store for us when we enter heaven. When we die, we don't bring our belongings, we bring our soul. So why are we spending so much time thinking and obsessing about this life when we should be focusing and striving for the life to come? Let heaven fill your thoughts. Don't spend time worrying about things down here. These next verses are especially for people with low self-esteem, body dysmorphia, an eating disorder, or any self-image problems. But the Lord said to Samuel, Elab is tall and handsome, but don't judge things like that. God doesn't look at what people see. People judge by what is on the outside, but the Lord looks at the heart. Elab is not the right man. So we fix our eyes, not on what is seen, 
but what is unseen, since what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. Do not let your adoring be external. We judge people by their appearance and how they look physically, but none of that matters to God. So why are we judging other people from the outside when we should also only care about what's on the inside? Don't you know your body is a temple that belongs to the Holy Spirit? The Holy Spirit you received from God lives in you. You don't belong to yourselves. You were bought for a price. So bring glory to God in all the ways you use your body. This verse really helps me with my eating disorder in realizing that I need to treat my body as a temple. My body is not my own. It is a temple of the Holy Spirit. We are God's creation, so we should not hate ourselves for the way we look because we were made in the image of him. I heard someone say, it's like if there was an artist and they made a painting and then you go up to it and start hating on it saying, ew, that's ugly, that's hideous, that's disgusting, and you're tearing that painting down. That's basically what we're doing to God when we're tearing ourselves down because we are his creation. These next verses are great for when you're just caught up in worrying about what other people think of you. It's dangerous to be concerned with what others think of you. If you trust in the Lord, you are safe. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man. If we are out of our minds, as some say, it is for God. If we are in our right minds, it is for you. We shouldn't be trying to please the other people and trying to look good in their eyes. We should only be trying to please and look good in God's eyes. Christians, if you're scared to share your faith with other people because you're scared they're going to make fun of you, hear this. Whoever disowns me before others, I will disown before my Father. If we deny and reject Jesus in front of other people because we're ashamed, Jesus will do the same thing to us in front of God on Judgment Day. And that is something we should all fear. So before you do anything, ask yourself this. Am I saying this to win the approval of people or God? To every single person that watched this video, every individual person, I pray, I will pray for you, that God guides you and helps you through your struggles with your mental health or whatever you're going through, and that he comes and saves you from your worries and thoughts. Before I end this video, I just wanna make it clear that sometimes I still get caught up in worrying, but then when I come back to Christ and remember all the stuff I've been sharing with you guys in this video, I realize that the things I'm worrying about don't matter, and my worries are nowhere near what they used to be. And I pray that you putting your trust in Jesus Christ does the same for you too. Thank you guys so much if you made it this far in the video. I am, am so thankful that I have the platform to share my faith. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, subscribe, and share with your friends so they can hear the good news. I will see you guys next week and I hope YouTube doesn't turn off these comments. So please comment down below and we can all share our faith and how we came to Jesus together. Bye guys.